Long before she started protecting mountain gorillas in East Africa, Gladys Kalima Zukusoka had a pet monkey named Poncho. He was a really naughty, mischievous monkey, but I was fascinated about how similar his fingers were to mine, because he'd sit on the gate and look down on me, and I felt like his fingers and the fingernails looked just like mine. She grew up with a passion for wildlife, became a wildlife vet in Uganda, and studied mountain gorillas. So a good day for me is just going to the forest and spending time with the gorillas, and when they're relaxed and uh, yeah, I get a lot of inspiration by being with them. It's very therapeutic being with the gorillas. They're very gentle and accommodating. She said the future of mountain gorillas is bright. I would say that the future for, for mountain gorillas is bright. And the reason why it's bright is because the people who live next to the gorillas, who they share the habitat with, are benefiting a lot from being next to the gorillas. Windy used to be one of the poorest parts of Uganda, the only economic activity was tea growing as outgrowers. But once guerrilla tourism began, a lot of people have been employed in the tourism industry and they're hired either by the park or the NGOs or the tour lodges and they've had so many benefits as a result of that. Now the winner of the Indianapolis Prize will be announced a little later this month. The recipient will get $250,000 to continue their conservation efforts. All of these finalists will be honored at the Indianapolis Prize Gala in September, and you can learn more about the event on, on WTHR.com.